Okay, in this video, we're going to go <clears throat> a little bit beyond the basics with the pivot table. So I want to show you that in each of these different sections, you can have more than one field. In fact, you could have as many as you wanted to. So let's start with uh, putting more than one field into the row label. So this field that's called commission will be either yes or no, whether the salesperson got commission for that sale or not. So I'm going to pick up commission and put it into the row label underneath of destination. Now notice when we do that, now we start to get a, a two level report. So first it's broken down by destination and then by the no's and yeses there. Now um, the order that these appear in actually does matter. matter. So what if you want to have all of the no's first and then all of the yeses? Then I pick up commission and move it above destination but still stay in the row labels. And notice how now it's by commission and then by destination. See that? So it really does matter in which order these appear. Uh, let me put it back to where it says destination first and then commission second like that. Now when you have, you could have as many as you wanted to there. So in your case, if you wanted it by state and then by county and then by township, you would have all three of those fields in the row labels. You would have state, you would have state, county, and township there. But you could have as many as you wanted to really. It gives you multiple layers. Now, when you do have multiple layers of fields like this, I want to give you some formatting options. So I'm going to pick on the design menu up top. And then you come over here and it says subtotals. Now, what it's talking about uh, subtotals is the lines that say New York or Boston or Cancun. That's what's called subtotals. Now, I, I would like to see those really at the bottom. So I'll pick on subtotals and I'll say show all subtotals at the bottom of the group. Yeah, see, I like that way better. Then I have the New York title. Then I have no and yes, and then the New York total. So I like that a little bit better. Now the grand totals are the ones over here on the far right or at the very, very bottom. You have your grand totals. So notice how you can turn those on or off as well. This is still under the design menu. Uh, another one that applies when you have more than one field in the row label is something that's called the report layout. So let's try some of these. Let's try compact form. You can see you tighten it up a little bit now. Now it's back to being the total on the top. Uh, let's try outline form. Um, I actually like the next one. I like the tabular form. And again, that puts it so that the total is at the bottom. So when you have more than one field in the row label, it does first of all matter in which order they appear in. Uh, and then also you have the options under the design menu that's called subtotals that can turn those on or off or put it at the top or the bottom of the group. You have the grand totals. These are going to be the ones on the far right or the, the very bottom. You can turn those on or off. And then the report layout just gives you different ways to structure um, when you have more than one field there. So I like those kind of options. Now I'm going to make it back to being a simpler report again. I'm going to pick up commission and move it back to the fields. Now, let me show you what happens when you have more than one field into the value section. Here you can have more than one calculation. Let's say I want to see the sum and the count by destination by airline. So I'll pick up, no, you could pick a different field, by the way. So I can sum one field and average another field. That would be okay. But here I'm going to use the same field. So I'll pick up total and move it into the value section. Now, right now I have two sums. Well, you don't need two sums, right? That would be kind of redundant. Plus, it be repetitious, right? So let's uh, fix one of this. You're going to go to that second sum of total. And again, you go back to something that's called value field settings. We talked about this a little bit in the, in the first video, the basic. So now you can change the type of calculation. Maybe we'll make this one account. So now, for each destination, for each airline, have the sum and the count at the same time. So when you want multiple calculations, you can move something into the value section. Uh, so you can have as many of those as you wanted to, to really start to give you, uh, you know, more complicated reports here. Now, let me show you some uh, significant things you can do with the value section that you maybe you didn't know about. Uh, I'm going to click in the pull down where it says count of total two. Let me show you where there's even additional calculations available. Let's click on value field settings. I'm actually going to make it back to a sum again. But check out the second tab here. If I go to the second tab, now, you see, with this pull-down, we can have additional calculations. We have percent of total. How about a difference from one, like from the baseline to where you are now? A running total. 
or a ranking or an, an index. So that could be pretty helpful there. Let's do a percent of column total. So in the first tab of value field settings, you have your normal calculations. Then on the second tab, then you have additional calculations when I click on this pull down. I'm going to pick on percent of column total. When I click on OK, then notice how that's exactly what we have here. So the value field settings uh, section is so valuable, but you can have more than one value by putting more than one field into the value section. Notice how I have the sum and the percent of total because I have more than one field in there. Uh, I'm going to pick up the sum of total two and move it back to the fields again. I'd like to show you something that's called a drill down. Uh, let's say you're trying to determine where that number is coming from. Uh, the 3141. Uh, basically, that's New York for America. It says 3141. So I'm going to double click on that. When you double click on it, it brings you into a different sheet that shows you all the detailed transactions for that for that number. So here's all the transactions for New York that are from American. And if I highlight the totals over here, then you see it has that same kind of number, 3141. So basically, I just proved that number out. Now, each time that you do that, it does make a different sheet. Let me go back to sheet eight. All you have to do is double click on one of your numbers. That shows you all the detailed transactions for that number, and that's called a drill down. Very powerful feature of a pivot table, and that's built right in. However, each time that you do that, it does make a separate sheet. So let's go back to sheet eight. 